John the Baptist said, y'all follow him. He the one. He's the Lamb of God. Y'all follow him. John was lifting up Jesus, telling somebody about Jesus. And they went to follow him. They wanted to know about him. When Philip found out, he said, I got to go tell somebody about Jesus. He found they He said, we found the Messiah. We found the one. He didn't come from Nazareth. Nathaniel said, anything good come out of Nazareth? Come and see. When he met Jesus, the first thing that Jesus said was, he come Nathaniel. A man with no God, no foolishness in him. In our private conversation, understand that God knows our name Amen. and he knows everything about us. Amen. In this private conversation. In the second chapter, John talked to his mother Mary at a wedding, ran out wine, and she comes and say, they don't have any wine, they want some wine. He said, it's not my time yet. But what happened after that private conversation, she was lifting Jesus up because all she said was, whatever he tell you to do, do it. Yeah. be obedient to what God tells us to do. Yeah. Especially after we done had this conversation with him. Then he talked to Nicodemus. Nicodemus came at night, and I'm so glad that God don't have office hours. <laughs> so any time of the day to talk to God and to ask him anything, I can ask him any question, I can talk to him about anything, and he in no way would cast me out. All of us can have that private conversation. All of us can go and talk to him at any time, 2 o'clock in the morning, and he's there to listen, to answer our questions. He told Nicodemus, except the man be born again, he can't even see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Then he said, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Right. The next conversation I want to talk about is about a man at a well. He always say the woman at the well, but who was sitting there? <laughs> Jesus was at the well. And he was waiting on her to get there. He had already said, I got need to get to this place. So he can have this private conversation with her. Now he was there with all the disciples. He sent all 12 men to go get lunch so he can sit down and talk to her by herself. Amen. Talk to her about her bedroom situation. Mm -hmm. Even talk about her worship situation. Mm -hmm. And after that private conversation, she went to lift Jesus up. Because she told everybody, come be the man that told me everything I've ever done. See, after we had these private conversations, it's meant for us to go tell somebody else right. about who he is. Yes. And the fifth chapter of John, he talked to this man laying at the pool. Mm -hmm. Everybody waiting to get in the water. All right. Jesus walked up, noticed him laying there by himself. Said, do you want to be made whole? Mm -hmm. The man started giving all kinds of excuses. Right. I ain't got nobody. Yeah. I didn't ask you, did you have anybody? Yeah. All I want to know is if you want to be made whole. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jesus healed him and said, pick up your bed and go. Right. I want to know something about this conversation that he had with this man. He obeyed Jesus and got up, rolled up the mat, and everybody missed the miracle. Mm -hmm. He laid there for 38 years. Mm -hmm. They missed the miracle because the only thing they saw was he was carrying the mat. Mm -hmm. Nobody said, oh, man, what happened to you? You walking now. I'm sorry. No one said that. All they want to know is, who told you to carry that mat? <laughs> now he got an opportunity to lift Jesus up. Amen. All through these kind of conversations, Jesus is talking. He's talking to us when we pray. He listens mm -hmm. to us. He responds to us. There's an answer to when we have these private conversations. Amen. Sixth chapter of John, he talked to the disciples. They invited him in their boat. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were traveling. There was a storm going on. But as soon as Jesus got in the boat, they got exactly where they yes, needed to right. go. We got to let Jesus in our boat. Amen. Let him in our situation. Amen. The seventh chapter, they were talking to his brothers and the disciples. He said, now nah, anybody that's thirsty, they can come and get the living water. Right. The eighth chapter of John. Ooh, the woman that was caught up in the dust. Mm -hmm. She was caught with somebody in the very act. They ain't bring the man, they just brought her. <laughs> I was, I, when I first read that, I used to be upset about that. But then I realized, Jesus will forgive, and Jesus won't condemn. Yes, Everybody else is standing around ready to stone her. Rolled in the sand, and one by one, everybody dropped the stone. But that private conversation he had with her was, 
Where's your Jesus? Mm -hmm. Where the people that's talking about you? Mm -hmm. She looked up, there was no one. Amen. Said, well, neither will I. Amen. In my private conversation, even though I was caught, I was exposed, Amen. I was drugged through the street, Amen. but Jesus won't condemn me and let me know he forgives me and saves me and I can go home Amen. without the condemnation. Amen. Ninth chapter of John, he talked to a blind man and told him to go walk. Hmm. Everybody wants to know, wasn't he born blind? Father and mother say, he's of age, ask him yourself. Amen. They went to go find him to find out what happened to you. I don't know who he is. All I can tell you, I was one blind, and now I can see. He's lifting Jesus up. Because you can tell somebody, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know which way I was going, but I met a man. And he let me know. Gave me sight. Now I can see. And the 10th chapter, he talks to this like, I'm the good shepherd. I'm the one. I'm the door. All through the book of John, he's talking about who he was. Amen. And he tells us that today. Mm -hmm. Who he is. Yes. In the 11th chapter of John, Mary and Martha sends Jesus a prayer request. Mm -hmm. The one you love is sick. Come and see about him. Jesus comes after the funeral. Amen. All right. After the repast. Right. And when we think it's over and ain't nothing else to be done, that's when God shows up and do the bit. In my private conversation, he said, wait a minute, I didn't come when you thought I should have been there. Yeah. But when I got there, yeah. the tell me, they said, yeah. well, wait a minute, it's thinking, it's over, it's over. Yeah. He said, no, the tell me where you lay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he does the miracle. Mm -hmm. He prays at that moment. He said, I'm doing this for that sake. Mm -hmm. Oh, they couldn't deny Jesus was God then. Because Lazarus was dead for four days. Yeah. And now he's alive. All right. In the 12th chapter, this woman that had a conversation with Jesus, she didn't say a word. She just came in and broke the alabaster box. All right. Now, yeah. there was a whole lot of conversation going on. That's a waste of time. What, what's this waste for? And what I love about whatever it is that we do, it's either a treasure or a waste or a memorial. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, leave her alone. She's doing this for me. Amen. There's going to be some people that say it don't take all of that. Amen. Your prayer like they got to go there. You ain't got to pray that long. You ain't got to pray like that. But Jesus said, leave alone. Mm -hmm. This is between us. Right. Has nothing to do with you. Right. 13 chapter John, he had to talk to Peter by washing his feet. He's like, no, don't wash my feet. Jesus said, don't let me do this. You ain't got no part of me. We can't tell God what part of our life we want him to clean. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we're going to do it. We might as well give it all. Give it all to God. Yo, God, I don't want you to mess with this part of my life. I'm going to be saved with that. Don't mess with this part. Don't, don't do that. In our private conversation, give it all. Allow him to do and watch what he wants to watch. Amen. He said, I'm yours, Lord. Everything I am, everything I'm not, everything I got, I'm yours. Mm -hmm. In my intimate, private conversation. Because mm -hmm. after that conversation, I ought to be able to lift him up. Because look, I got loved ones that don't know Jesus. Amen. I got a neighbor that don't know Jesus. Amen. I got coworkers that don't know Jesus. Amen. But if I don't live like I've had these conversations with a That's true and living God, I don't believe that he's more than just the God that sit up high and look low, but I got to believe the one that reaches low and keep me from falling. Amen. That's the one I need to be talking to. Yeah. In the 14th chapter, John 15 and 16, he disclosed some things just to his disciples. Said, let not your heart be troubled. Have you ever been troubled? Have your heart ever been troubled? Yes. But we can talk to the one that said, don't let your heart be troubled. Right. Yes. We can talk to the one that said, stay the to the vine. Yes. We can talk to the one that said, you can ask the Father anything in my name. Yes. And he'll give. 17 chapter of John, God talked to you. Jesus said, now glorify me, Father. And he wasn't just praying about the disciples, he was praying for each one of us. Yes. He has not lost any of us. Amen. We're not lost. If we're in him, Amen. there's nothing lost in Jesus. Amen. And when we have those <coughs> private conversations, he let us know, I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. I'm walking ahead of you. 
I got your back, and I'm on either side of you. Amen. I got you. 18 chapter John, people came to arrest him. Jesus simply said, who are you looking for? And they were like, Jesus is not. And Jesus said, if it's me you want, you got to let the others go. If it's me you want, let the drugs go. If it's me you want, let the gambling go. If it's me you want, because I'm the one that got what you need. And if it's me you want, let everything else go. Amen. Amen. If it's me you want. Amen. See, Peter can't do what I do. John can't do what I do. All right. If it's me you want, yeah. let everybody else go. Yeah. I'm what you're looking for. Yeah. I got what you need. In the 19th chapter of John, Jesus talked to Pontius Pilate. Mm -hmm. Pontius Pilate was arrogant. I can do this. Say, God, you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> if Father didn't give you the power to do so. <coughs> and we got to know that. We can't do anything outside of Christ. That's right. And in that private conversation, Jesus let him know who the boss was. Mm -hmm. But also in that 19th chapter, Jesus had several conversations on the cross. Mm -hmm. Talked to his mama and said, Mama, I got somebody to take you to the bank on Thursday. I got somebody, mama, that can come and get you and do anything that you need, mama. I got somebody. John, take care of her. Because yeah. God will let you know in that private conversation, I got somebody that will take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. Yeah. And in doing that, we can lift him up. Yeah. Yeah. And doing what he asked us to do and answering our prayer, we can lift him up. Because we need to be telling somebody, I had a problem and I went to God and he answered my, he answered my prayers. He helped me do the things that I needed to do. And the 20th chapter of John, he said, all these things were written so that we might believe. Amen. But he had to go talk to Thomas. Because Thomas was not there when Jesus showed up for everybody else. And in our moments of doubt, God shows up. Amen. All right, yeah. Come down. He yeah. came back. He, I won't believe it unless I can put my fingers in the holes and I won't be able to believe until I put my hand to his side. But whatever that conversation, what do you mean? Y'all had a conversation without me? So Jesus came back. And he will meet you at the place of your doubt. Amen. He will meet you at the place where you say, I can't believe what the man who brought his son to Jesus and said, look, I brought him to your boys and they couldn't do nothing. I'm bringing them to you. And, and if you can do anything, can you do anything? Say, oh, you have little faith. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Yeah. And he will show up to help yeah. you yeah. with your unbelief. Oh, yeah. And then the 21st Amen. chapter, John, he had to go back and let Peter know, I still love you. And I still got to work for you to do. If you love me, feed my sheep. Amen. If you love me, feed my sheep. Yes, he will come back and tell us exactly what he wants us to do. Yes, in that right. private conversation. Yes. There's 21 chapters in the book of John. And all through the book of John, there are all these private conversations. Yes, yes. And let us know about our own prayer life. That's right. No matter what we go through, every incident, yes, every right. situation, that I can lift them up so that my uncle, my, my unsaved children can yes. know who Jesus is. Yes. Even when they say you put everything, you, you, just, you just put Jesus before us, no, I kept him before you. Amen. Amen. There is a difference. I want you to know who he is. Yes. I want my neighbor to know who he is. Amen. I had the little boy that used to bring to church. Their mother worked on Sunday. And she said, I'll pay you to watch them on Sunday. I said, well, are we going to church? You're going to take me to take them to church. Amen. Every Sunday, her kids would come to church. Every Sunday, they would go home and tell their mother about what they learned Amen. in Sunday school Amen. and what they learned in church. And now their mother goes to church. Amen. 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 Lifting him up before everybody to let somebody know that we serve a true and living God. Amen. So in this Amen. particular year that we're starting out, and our pastor's giving us that thing, lift him up. Yes. Lift him up after you have your private conversation. Amen. Lift him up when he's answered your prayer. Yes. Lift him up when he has delivered oh, yes. you from all kind of things that you was yes. entangled in. Lift him up. Yes. Lift him up. Yes. Lift him up. Yes. And have your private conversation. Yes. 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 Yes.